we'll soon find out. The God factor can easily be described as trusting in God. But it is much more than that. It can easily, you can easily call it trusting in God. But I'm telling you, it is much more than that. The God factor involves the following. The God factor involves the following. Number one, trusting God. Number two, studying and meditating on the word of God. Number three, prayers. In fact, a lot of it. Number four, stepping out of faith in God. Stepping out of faith in God. Number four. Number five, putting yourself in situations that only God can carry you through. I come again. Five main things. The God factor involves this the following. One, trusting God. Two, studying and meditating in the word of God. Three, prayers. I said a lot of it. Four, stepping out of faith for God. Number five, putting yourself in situations that only God can carry you through. In that number five, it can be more, we can give, throw more light on it, looking at John chapter 15 verse 5. John 15 verse 5. We can throw more light on it. Putting yourself in situations that only God can carry you through. Are we there? John 15 5. I am the vine. I am the vine. You are the branches. You are the branches. He who abides in me. Aha. Uh -huh. And I in him. If you abide in me and I in you, bears much fruit. You bear much fruit. For without me, without me, you can do nothing. You can do nothing. John 15 5. I am the branch. I am the vine. You are the branch. Without me. So without God, you can be. So without the God factor, you can do nothing. But I want us to remember that number four. Stepping out of faith in God. Remember that number four. As we move on. We will conclude very soon. God's factor cannot be testing God in things that are stupid. God's factor cannot be testing God in things that are stupid. That was why he told the devil, do not put the Lord your God to tests. That you are putting yourself in a situation that only God should carry you through should not be a test for God. Nobody tests God. Who can give substantial reason why Peter could walk on water? And when we give him substantial reason, I will not say give the mic for us to save time. Peter walked on the water. What is the substantial reason? The substantial reason there, it was the God factor. The God factor made Peter to step out of faith. And he started walking on the water. He was in a situation that only God can tell him through. That was why immediately the faith went down. Peter started singing. And he shouted, Oh God, save me from this trouble. Because it was only the God factor. That was why Peter walked on the waters. It was the God factor. I learned... And I found myself trusting God. That was why I personally on agreement handed the keys of this church over to God. The key on him, that key See, I this key. I told him, you are the general overseer of this church. I am just the set man. What it was trust that made me to do that. It was faith. That made me to do that. Achom kam bulishia wani ne bunye. Afia go bungongo. Na bulungongo church anaga. Go zimu me. I will do it. It is safer for me. It is safer for me. It is easier for me. Let him carry the administration. Let him carry everything. Tells me I execute. He holds the key. Obape. Kuzongo obape. Omepe. 
I don't need to, that load. Let him have that load. If we can reciprocate this in our homes, in our businesses, in our marriages, in all that concerns us, carry the all up with the chinek Give him all the trouble. Relax. Cross your leg. Believe in him. And watch him ride the boat for you. I don't know whether I'm making sense to somebody. Yes, sir. And that is the God factor. And I can tell you because he is the one running here. That is why you are seeing this level of growth. If it were to be a human being, I am a nearby daughter. Are you, are you understanding me? Yes, sir. Are you hearing me well? Yes, yes sir. That is why I emphasize it. If I'm lazy, I'm set man. Upon I'm I am not the general overseer. God is the general overseer. Let him oversee. Let me be the executioner. It is better for me. I live here, I rest. The headache is here. It is God's headache. I look up my side. It is God's headache. It is not my headache. It is more important to him than me. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. Because the work of God is a continuum. He should set up a structure that after my time, other people will be moving. So it is his headache and not my own. And this is the mistake most people do. You want to do your work and do the work of God. And you cannot do his work. When you enter into his work, you get entangled. The God factor and the mover. I have been using the God factor in so many ways and learned a new and total dependence on him. That's the kind of dependence that Abraham gave. Abraham looks stupid. Everything. I said, if you look at this man, this man that we are, we are making reference to, of, of, if they want to go to the toilet, they will ask God, Father God, I am pressed. Do I enter? Imagine where you are pressed. Is she, call of nature, what can you go get? And you at that point, on that point, that's it. Let me enter. Say, my son, don't do it here. Hold on. Ah! Can you hold on? Can you hold on? But simple things that are better, easy than that, we refuse to do his own. We want to do our own. We refuse to acknowledge his way. We want to acknowledge our way. It must be total dependence. And there is something, you know, one thing about him, he will tell you to sacrifice this. He will give you more than that thing you sacrificed. So is it not better for you to be obedient? Is it not better? Sarah, uh, Hannah told him, give me a son and I will give you back to you. He gave Sarah, Hannah, Samuel. Samuel, Hannah gave Samuel back to him. He blessed Hannah with more children. Even that Samuel was not far from Hannah. That is God. Heal Isaac. Abraham, he did not allow God to, he did not allow Abraham to kill Isaac. Other things added. He's not a wicked God. Allow him to take charge. Allow him to be in charge. Ah! Allow him. And that is what I respect. Some of the guest ministers that come here, if they have a way, I want you to come to minister in my church. I'll say, look, let me let me go first. Let me know what that Oga has approved for me to come. Onya obra neyem that response and may respect here because onya am my hobby amen. You don't make any move. It doesn't if it does not tell you to go. His dependence, the dependence he wants from you, should be totally undiluted. That you don't have a decision of your own. It is when you reach this level that somebody will come and slap you. You have the power to slap back. He says, don't retaliate. You don't do anything. People around you will say, it is very stupid. But they don't know that there is a dependent person on God. Because when God will arise to fight for you, even you will tell God, Chinegozugo. Am I making sense to somebody? Yes, sir. 
We should allow him to be in charge of our lives. After all, you did not come. You came to this world not on your own. It is him that brought you in this world. Whatever you think that you are, it is him. Look at look at Trump as big as he. Look, it's not just because of election. When he was the president in his before he he goes everywhere as the president of America, and he tells everybody that Jesus Christ is in charge. Donald Trump, are you aware? Yes, sir. And at the time I googled in the Bible, I read in King James version. The Bible said, "And I will Trump." Nothing in this life happens for nothing. I am not making campaign, no. But I want to tell you that even apart from that, he's vying for president. He has been one time president. You and I know that Trump can be defined as a trillionaire. He's a good billionaire. With that level of wealth, any place he goes, he acknowledges Jesus Christ. You can't go far in life if you put God aside. You must use the God factor. You must use the God factor. We need to be wise. The Bible says, get wisdom. Get understanding. When we have total dependence in him. That is why the Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. It is only him that will strengthen you. Now, where do you get strength? The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. So it is the joy of the Lord that gives you strength. Now, where do, where, where do you apply that joy or see that you get that joy in his presence how do i enter his presence or see you enter into his gates with thanksgiving when i use thanksgiving to enter his gates i enter into his presence in his presence there is fullness of joy and that joy is the strength of the lord and with that strength i can do all things so what does it tell you everything starts from his presence and ends in his presence but he said enter here with thanksgiving i want us to understand the power of sacrifice and that is why people in the other side every time and amen look i have here on wednesday we are going to pray because something has started we are going to pray against prevalence of kidnapping the prevalence of organ harvesting the prevalence of rituals it is increasing heavily in our career i don't know whether you are aware yes sir. the spiritual controls the physical <laughs> why are they increasing this they know the importance of sacrifice let people not confuse you in these and the scriptural teachings that are going on God is still God and God is the God of sacrifice. He does not play with sacrifice. The more sacrifice you are giving God, the higher you are going. Let it not be removed from you. Look at study Abraham. Yes, God gave him Abraham, gave Abraham promises. But one thing triggered the manifestation of God immediately and earlier. When Abraham paid his tithes to who? Melchizedek. To Melchizedek, the servant of God. And people are talking. God has not changed. He's still a God of sacrifice. He told Abraham, I demand sacrifice. Abraham, why did he provide the sacrifice? He, God, does not play with sacrifice. So let people not come and give you, be giving you wrong teaching. Somebody posted one, a man, a man was preaching. He said that Nigeria we need now our brains that will help this country and nobody should pray for this country again i understand the point where it's coming from because even god when god wants to help you you need to be available but jesus told us in pray in and out of season jesus said wash and pray so as good as we are assembling brains for this country we should not rule out prayers it's not possible because it is the God factor. God factor. The Bible says Paul planted, Apollos watered. 
It was God that made 